Right now I'm going to be sharing with you my morning skincare routine and the reason that I say you can't have pretty makeup without good skincare is because no matter what you do with your makeup, no matter what techniques you follow, you can follow the very best makeup artist there is on the planet, do exactly what they do, but if your skincare routine is lacking, then you're going to have a little bit of a problem. This may seem like a lot of steps and I wanna make sure that I tell you beforehand that you do not have to have all this. I'm gonna say this over and over again in the video. You do not have to have all these steps. Don't forget that I do have a number system that will correspond to the products and you can go down into the description box and the link will be there that you can click on and go to the product and shop that way if you'd like to. All right, let's get into my morning skincare routine and a whole lot of extra stuff that I do that you can put into your routine or just stick to the very basics. You decide what's best for you. Let's go. Morning time, Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. This is just to take off any of the moisturizers that I have from the night before, any dead skin that is possibly building up, and I just go ahead and put that everywhere. I also try to get off any leftover eye makeup that possibly didn't get taken off. If you've never seen me use these little towels before, I wanna tell you that these are the best microfiber towels to take off your eye makeup or any leftover makeup from the night before. They're super soft, they come in a pack of six. When I buy them, I buy them 12 so that I have extra. And then the older ones I use while I'm doing my makeup for brush cleaners, you know, just to dust off my brush or whatever, spills, whatever may happen. And I love these things. Once I'm done with that, I go in with some sort of an exfoliation that is chemical. And this one is the AHA, BHA, PHA 30 Day Miracle Toner from Some By Me. And this is fantastic. Now what I do, I don't use cotton rounds. I just pour it into my hand, a little bit into my hand, pat those hands together and then just spread it across my face. Now, I'm using a glycolic acid in the morning and the reason is is because I wait five to 10 minutes in between this step and the rest of my skincare in order to let that acid calm down because I do use a vitamin C in the morning. Now, I would not recommend that you do both. I have gotten to the point to where my skin knows what I'm gonna throw at it and I've been doing this for years. So I would recommend that you maybe just push the glycolic to the evening the ass, any acids that you use to the evening and do that two times a week and your retinol five times a week. The actives might overload your skin and you might get a bit sensitive. I will give it about five minutes to just rest. I'll go brush my teeth and then I'll come right back to my skincare. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some of my other skincare. Before I do that, vitamin C is the very last step. Well, right before moisturizer SPF. This one is Bliss. This is the Disappearing Act Niacinamide Pore Vanish Toner. And I love this because it comes in a great big huge bottle. It's an essence. It doesn't have any extra ingredients in it. Once again, pour it into the hand, splash it around, and just get it everywhere. I've had a lot of people since I did a short video ask me how I keep my pores down, and this is it. Niacinamide and Galactomyces Bifida, those three products are the superstars in helping me to keep my pores down. Now you notice I'm pushing down a little bit. I get a lot of feedback from don't push down on your neck. I push so gently that it doesn't matter, but if you're somebody that really is bothered by that, make sure that you push your neck upwards and your face upwards. I do that with gua sha after I'm done with all of this, so doesn't bother me too much to not be pushing things the right way as I'm applying product. Okay, so next thing is that vitamin C. This is the Naturium Vitamin C Super Serum Plus. I love this stuff. This is my superstar. I use this all the time. Naturium, I hope I'm saying that right, but it's been become one of my favorite lines for skincare. Um, I was told recently that it was made in the USA and also I love that they don't put any fluff ingredients in here. And so I'm gonna make sure I put this all over my decollete. Can you see that my decollete or my chest is just so much different color than my face. I do have several spots that I'm trying really hard to work on on my face as well, but I'm also wanting the protection that a vitamin C get, gives with antioxidants against any harmful damage from pollution or from free radicals, that kind of thing. Now, I get asked a lot, what do you use for your dark circles or what would I recommend for dark circles? 
there isn't a lot. But I will say that if you have puffy eyes with dark circles, one of the things that you can do with both of your routines, and it takes just a second, is take your two knuckles on your four fingers and just rub very gently and rub out with those eyes. And yes, you're tugging a little bit, but you're wanting to do it fairly gently. Do it about 10 times. It's gonna help the bags that are around your eyes. I have a whole gua sha routine, but in the morning, if I don't have time, doing this about 10 times really helps. The other thing it does is stimulate blood to that area and will help that bluish color a little bit. I have inherited dark circles, so it's really hard for me to get rid of those no matter what I do, I end up having to cover them. After vitamin C, I'm gonna go in with an eye cream. I recently just discovered this. This is the new one I'm using, I'm testing right now. It's HPR eye cream, um, it's hydropinacolone. Anyway, it says improve and prevent the signs of aging around the eyes. You're supposed to use it twice a day, which is what I do, I use a very small amount. Um, I don't even use a, a complete pump of it. I use maybe like a half a pump of it and then I put it on those in or my ring fingers, not index fingers, sorry. And I'll put it on there and then I will just pat it around very gently. This is the one that I am currently testing. A few videos ago, I did put out a video on all kinds of eye creams that I do love and I do feel like are effective. I'll make sure that I link that down below so that you can go ahead and look at it because again, I test so much, but those were ones that were tried and true and I do have one, two of those actually in this video. I want to finish up serums with number seven. Now, please keep in mind, this is what I do for a living. I use a lot. Stop at one serum. If you don't want to use a lot of serums, use a good vitamin C. That's all you need in between your cleanser, vitamin C, moisturizer, SPF. That's all you would need. I have used a couple of more in here because I add in things. And these are things that I wanna show you. I get asked all the time what my routines are, so I'm showing you. This is the number seven Future Renew Damage Renewal Serum. This has new technology. I attended a, a webinar for this, and I do believe that this is one of those very innovative products that doesn't have a huge price tag that I feel like will make a big difference. And for me, it's making a big difference in what I'm seeing right through here in my eyes and I'm just enjoying it so much because they do have an eye serum. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that eye serum on top of the other one. Again, this is all extra. It's completely all extra. You do not have to do that, this. These are the ones that I'm just currently trying loving, knowing that I'm really enjoying. Please do not feel like so many steps have to go into your, your routine because that's just not the case for it to be effective. You can have a few, you can have a bunch. And are you noticing that I'm putting it down on my hands? My hands have improved so much. And then of course I get my huge dose of moisture from this product that is in every skincare routine I've shown for about seven years. Suko Yakusuhara Urea Moisture Essence. And this is just padded on top of everything that I put on here to lock everything in. And then I'm gonna put my moisturizer slash SPF on in one step. But this is just so moisturizing. You can do this at the very beginning if you want to, to pump up your skin and get it ready for all those other products that you're about to put on it. You can do it at the end like I just did. Also on days like are coming up with the heat on in the homes and then it being very dry winter days, I will use the Suko Yakasuhara eye cream and I will go ahead and put that underneath and on top just to be able to plump, plump, plump. And that's really what I love about a morning skincare routine is you're plumping everything up in order to completely prep for makeup. All right, very last step, I'm gonna go ahead with the Dermatology Universally, let's see, this is the Physical Tinted Moisturizer SPF. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use quite a bit of it. I love that this is tinted. It helps me feel like I've got a little bit of something on in the day when I don't go in with any makeup, but at the same time, it doesn't interfere with my makeup and it's hyper moisturizing. Make sure you come all the way down on your chest and if you're gonna wear your hair down at all or any time anyway, make sure you cover your ears with your SPF and make sure you try to get around to the back of your neck with your SPF and then of course on the top of your hands. All right, that's my morning skincare routine. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this. I will be 
be bringing you my evening skincare routine very soon so that you can see that. Although this is my job, please don't forget that I never want you to feel pressured into buying anything. If you do buy something through my links, I do earn a small commission and I thank you so much for that. Thank you guys so much for being with me today. Take care of yourselves. Hope you come back around really soon in my next video. Love you much. Bye my friends. Thank you.